Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AxesOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So just like we discussed uh, yesterday, again, anybody who thought yesterday was the bottom or the day before, again, we're nowhere near the bottom. Again, from the technical point of view, and again, bef before you talk about having an opinion about something, again, always keep in mind, yes, we're, we have an incredible nasty catalyst that is taking down the market. Uh, again, a lot of economists are now are looking at a potential, you know, if everything really craps the fan, uh, potential 20% unemployment. We, you know, we know all the ugly numbers. We know all the ugly news dissemination, all the fear mongering, all that stuff. But again, from the trading point of view, you have to look at everything technically, okay? And we, we discussed this in nausea the last several weeks before you can start coming to and say, well, this is the end of the earth, the market's going up, the market's going down. Understand that we have to test this monthly level, okay? This is a monthly level on the NASDAQ 100, the QQQs, uh, and, and the most amazing part, it's 160. We're at the 160 area, we talked about this yesterday. We're not there, okay? We're not there. We got down to like 167 today, and then we kind of bounced back. But again, what's amazing about it, the strength of the sell-off has gone from roughly 240 uh, to almost uh, 165, which is absolutely amazing. So from the point of really, really panic, really aggressive panic on most investors, we're going to have to start really getting aggressive below that 160 level. I do believe eventually when it does get tested, it will hold the first time around. And I, and I think that will be kind of the first round of possibly a multiple day a multiple day relief rally. I think that's the best way of saying it. It's not, it won't be the bottom. Okay. I, I guarantee you it won't be the bottom, but again, at least we have a data point, right? A tracking area that we know if the bulls put up a fight at this 160 level, and again, whether it hits it or not, and they start reclaiming, we could get a multiple day rally relief rally. And again, what's, what that's going to be is a multiple day. Okay. It won't be the bottom. You're not going to remember that day and tell your grandkids, Hey, remember that day we, we, no, no, it's just what it is. Again, technical analysis is still very, very real levels are tested, levels hold levels are retested and levels are confirmed. That's the cycle. Okay. So, uh, before you start talking about, you know, the market is going to do this, the market's going to do that. This is the bottom. This is nowhere near the bottom. Again, you have to appreciate levels and you have to trade around those levels. And that's the whole premise of my strategy. Okay. Uh, my process is all about levels going from point A to point B. Uh, you can't put the, the, the cart in front of the horse. You can't have an opinion. You kind of have to kind of digest everything that's going on and, and put, you know, put dollars and cents, right? Dollars and a lot of common sense behind it before you can trade comfortably and take quote unquote, take shots again. Uh, again, a lot of information today, um, all over the place. We talked about uh, the, you know, the, the European, uh, European names like the CAC down 40% as of yesterday, uh, banning short selling. You saw the White House kind of nudge today for a possible, at least a possibility of this is still on the table. I personally think you could have something done within the next 48 hours. Again, we'll see, you know, we'll see. Uh, but, but again, you have so much information, okay? You have information overload today. Again, it's, it's very hard to remember everything. You had uh, a trading halt in the middle of the day around lunchtime, down 13% uh, on the spies, you know, 15 minutes close. You have all these closings, you know, you have casinos going dark tomorrow for 30 days. Uh, you had the REITs, remember we started talking about the REITs over the weekend, the real, you know, the commercial real estate. You had, um, you had uh, SPG, Simon uh, Properties, talking about they are uh, obviously closing down their temporary, uh, just temporary everything, okay, closing everything down. Uh, you, had a, a, you had so much stuff going on. You had a Bernie Sanders headline of all things, right? You had a Bernie Sanders headline talking about He's suspending his campaign, and then he talked about, psych, we lied. Well, not necessarily, we lied, but psych, I don't know where this came from. We're denying it. We're back in. I was so pumped. Socialism for possibility of four years. Can you taste it, right? So I was pumped, then I was disappointed, I was pumped again. So off and on, off and on, off and on. Bernie, Bernie Sanders slash Larry David is still back in the game. Uh, Senate passes a corona relief bill, free testing, uh, providing some sort of, 
uh, sick leave as well. And then you have your relief, right? You have your relief. We talked about this basically yesterday. Um, a big stimulus, $1,000 to go out in April, $1,000 to go in May. I, again, we really don't even know what the qualification uh, of relief, of getting this relief, but uh, I'm guessing it's going to be uh, to the middle class, to, to the more uh, poor, poorer. Again, everything's subjective. Uh, but again, all the details should be should be brought upon uh, very, very soon. There was a little bit of good news today, okay? And again, it's so easy, and again, you, you, it's so easy to get into this really mental funk. when they Again, when they hit you with headline after headline, this guy's dying, we're dying, we're all dying, we're all gonna die, everybody's dying, you stay in your house, you're all gonna die. My God, it's mental, right? Mental, this whole business, you know, this whole business, I've been talking about it for years, this whole business is all about being mentally sharp, right? And again, I said this in the most bullish market, okay? If you've ever uh, had a fight with your spouse or had a bad day at work, previous day at work, uh, or you have problems at home, you have financial difficulties, don't trade, right? That's in a good market. You get into this market, right? Where, where the hell feels like it's, it's freezing over, the walls are, are climbing in, uh, people are getting laid off, businesses are closing, uh, there's just so much bad news. It's, it's so easy to kind of fall victim to this and go into this mental funk. And I give you my word, if you can't handle a mental funk in a good market, man, this is a disaster. And, you know, we're, we're searching for good news, right? Even the most experienced trader, it starts to, you know, it really starts to dwell on you. It really starts to get into your head. You know, keep this in mind. This is the time of year. You know, both of my kids have spring break at two different times. I try to go on vacation at this time of year, you know, twice, once in March, once in April. I already missed my vacation in March, right? And I'm going to miss my vacation in April. So, you know, mentally, it's starting to get to me as well, okay? Is it, is it affecting my trading? No, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sharp in my opinion. I'm pretty sharp in identifying market sentiment and kind of sticking to my plan. But I'm a human being like everybody else. And, you know, you need that mental cleanse. And, you know, everybody is kind of like looking for that piece of good news. And what I thought today, what I thought today, there was a couple of headlines that uh, hit the tape that really didn't make a lot of dent. Okay, didn't really put a lot of dent into it. But I, you, you got to hang on to something, right? And the first headline was that China, okay, Starbucks will reopen roughly around 100 locations towards the end of the year. Now, again, it might have missed a lot of people, okay? But I looked at it and I was like, well, wait a minute. If they're already starting to talk about potentially opening up 100 stores back before the end of the year, that means there's some sort of stabilization, right? There has to be something. Again, if China was still going through this panic mode of, you know, doubling, tripling, quadrupling cases by the day, by the week, by the month, you would never have this headline. So I, I found it a little bit of kind of a ray of hope, right? A little bit of a ray of hope that Starbucks came out and said, hey, you know what? We might be looking to reopen everything up. Again, they didn't go into detail, but again, it was something. We need anything to believe it right now. Um, so that was a little bit of, 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 of uh, you know, grain of sunshine that, that kind of went through. The second one, and I think a lot of people missed this, okay? The biggest problem we have in the United States, in my opinion, not even my opinion, I think it's out there, that we're just not prepared, okay? There's just not enough valid testing. You're seeing a lot of people take, a, you know, the corona test, get a false positive, and next thing you know, a week later, they get the coronavirus. There was a headline that came out. I don't know how many of you guys actually saw this. There was a headline came out that there's over 500,000 uh, corona testing units being sent over from Italy by the military, and to, to obviously to follow more. Now, again, if you believe that we have the greatest scientists, doctors, health professionals in the world, we just got to figure out who's infected, how many, you know, what's the real number and kind of get back to work, right? Kind of get back to work and kind of fixing them. Now, again, if you believe this is a, a seasonal problem and this will be a seasonal problem going forward until there is a, a valid um, you know, valid way to cure this or at least to stabilize this, that's a whole different story. If you're in the camp that believes that, you know, hundreds of people are dying from the flu every single day, 
you know, five people are dying a day on this, whatever the number is. Again, I'm just throwing a number out there. If you believe in that camp of a conspiracy theory, that's great as well. But again, we need something mentally. Okay, we can't just be uh, a civilization of zombies waiting for our ultimate demise. Okay, I can't live my life that way. I'm sure you guys are trapped in your house. If you're a normal human being, you're trapped in the house. You self-quarantine yourself. All you freaking donkeys. Okay, and that's the nicest way I can say it. All you freaking donkeys that are out there celebrating St. Patrick's Day in bars, in restaurants, you know, doing selfies with 28 other people, what the hell is effing wrong with you? Okay, seriously, what is the freaking wrong with you, man? I, I keep on seeing this over and over again, and I'm saying, how can we possibly, right? How can we possibly survive something like this, a global pandemic? If we have a we have a, a a a universe right a universe of donkeys running around that are selfish okay absolutely selfish and clueless to what the hell is going on in the world you guys are the problem get your asses at home believe me guys fellas you're not meeting the love of your life on a St Patrick's Day bliss blowout during a court coronavirus okay let's be honest here. Guys, stay at home, okay? The more people start practicing prudence and self-quarantine, this will start to stabilize. If you're going out to happy hour, okay? If you're going out to happy hour and you're touching and this and that, the other thing, you're, you're going to keep on multiplying the problems and then you're gonna be home three weeks later with the virus. It's just the reality. Stay at home. Have common sense. But for now, we are still unfortunately in a world full of donkeys and again, I'm being this, I'm being really, really nice. I had a lot of other words that I was using before that. On the trading side, again, look, it's the same formula every day, okay? It really is the same formula every day. Was this a day like the other days, very, very aggressive in a lot of things? No, you know, I traded today uh, Zoom, caught a nice trade in Zoom today, and I traded today uh, Netflix. I traded today Netflix as well. Um, a lot of other names, at least for me, again, I trade equity. I understand people are also complaining about the big wide spreads in the options market, but at least you have a covered max pain, okay? If I'm long, for example, NVIDIA, okay, and there's a $2 spread and the futures dump on me, I'm gonna lose five, okay? So it's very, very important day to day to kind of view the aggression with the value. Sometimes you have good value. I tell you, we had good value, right? We had some really, really good value today, but I was only able to trade a few names. Again, I, I did okay with these names, but, but again, sometimes liquidity is a very, very big deterrent if I'm taking the trade or not. If you got a big wide spread and the stock moves up five, six dollars, it looks great on paper, but if I can't control my risk, I'm not gonna put the trade on. That's exactly what I saw today with several trades, but overall, uh, pretty good value. Again, it's the same formula over and over again. Again, you know, we talked about this initial value is to the upside. Again, we got we got a gap down today, uh, eight, 900 points. Again, look, wait for channels to develop, wait for confirmation, enter with confidence, business as usual, wishing everybody a fantastic day. So. Uh, we were watching General Mills. Uh, it stopped short of 60. I still like it. Again, serial guys. They came out with earnings. They actually look like pretty decent earnings. They actually sold them off on earnings. But again, set this $60 handle. Okay, set this $60 number on whatever whatever uh, you know uh, chart alerts you use. Uh, once this thing starts building up 60, it's going to go. Uh, Clorox exploded. Okay, absolutely exploded. Uh, monster move yesterday. These are the levels that need to build. Uh, 203, 205, both need to build for more upside. Here is Clorox. Again, you know, here's Clorox, right? We talked about this yesterday. Here was Clorox. So here is the 203, right? Here's the 203. Here's the 203. Here's the 205, right? Took out the 203, took out the 205, and went all the way up to 214. Really, really big move. The initial candle uh, went up to like 209. So really nice move on, on Clorox. Good job for those guys who took it. Uh, Kroger, again, not really my thing, but again, for all you guys who did trade Kroger, again, that was the theme. You had uh, packaged foods, you had um, wipes, uh, any consumer cyclical product they use for your home, detergent, stuff like that. Uh, supermarkets, Walmart, look, look what Walmart did today, phenomenal. So uh, Kroger 35 needs to build, here was Kroger. 
uh, you know, here was Kroger, here was the 35, right? Went all the way up to uh, 36.30, so a nice move there on Kroger. NVIDIA exploded, and here's a perfect example of what I mean that I couldn't get into this trade. I couldn't get into this trade. Uh, by the time I wanted to enter the trade, it went from literally 201 to 205, and it felt like it felt like on uh, it felt like on a thousand shares. I, I really did. It really that's what it looked like to me. It went literally from 201 to 205 to 206 to 207 in seconds. If you did catch this trade, great job. Uh, I didn't. It was just too thin. It was just absolutely too thin for me. And here was the you know here was the 20130 right here. Let me show you the 60 minute channel right. So here was the 20130 right here 20130. And look at this move. It looks great on paper, right? With the 208.50. I, I couldn't get a piece of this trade. Way too thin. Way too thin. Uh, put up a $7 candle. I just couldn't get into it. Okay. I just couldn't get into it. Uh, Tesla. You know, Tesla did exactly what I thought. Uh, I thought Tesla was going to go to uh, 397 to 405. Uh, that's exactly what it did. Uh, if you look at Tesla, here was the 90, 397 pivot right over here. Here was the 397 pivot. Went right to this uh, 405 level. Again, Biggest trade in the world. Sounds good, right? But again, it is what it is. Uh, so you had a seven-point mover there. This was this was the big trade, at least for me. Okay, uh, this was at least the trade, at least for me. Uh, ZM needs to build. I caught ZM beautifully yesterday. Caught it again today. Um, one ten needs to build. The, so the first move on ZM went from one ten, right? Went from this one ten level. Here's the whole one ten sneaky channel. And it went to this 112. Everybody see this 112 area? Oh, excuse me, right here. Everybody see this one, uh, uh, 112 area, right? 1180, uh, 1180, right? 1180. So it went to this 112 area and put in an original high of like 112.20s, okay? It remounted. And when you guys hear me say, uh, when you guys hear me talk about second entries, that's what a second entry is, right after the pivot. So I, I bought it on the remount and exploded. I mean, the stock exploded. Uh, I mean, explode. I mean, big, big move. It went as high as to like 17. Big, big move. I was happy with the trade. Um, I was happy with the trade. I mean, you know, there was nothing wrong with it. I mean, very, very happy with it. Considering, you know, again, considering the liquidity today was very tough. For all you guys who traded small caps, again, I don't trade these things, but again, this is what I keep on saying. It doesn't make a difference who's in the trade with you. A pivot is a pivot. So BMRA for you small cap lovers, 575 rejected twice. Needs to build, and here is BMRA for all you guys that did take it. Congratulations! Here was the, you know, here was the, hey, what was it right here? Here was the five. Excuse me. Here was right here the five seventy five. It took out five seventy five. The first candle went to eight. Okay, I don't know what happened after. It looks like it's like at fourteen dollars after the close. But the first candle went from five seventy five to eight. If you caught it, if you went back in, blah 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 blah. Phenomenal job. So uh, great job there. Uh, again, if, you, if you're long, take it on the way up, right? If you're long, take it on the way up. In the video, again, I was shocked. Uh, Amazon had a really, really good move today. You can see Amazon 1808 needs to build. Here was Amazon. Here was the 1808. Hold on, where is it? Uh, uh, right here, right. 1808, right here. 1808 build. It went right to 1841, right? Went to 1841, big, big move on Amazon. Uh, FedEx never got close to the 11060, 11080. Clorox take on the way up. Uh, Netflix, I took Netflix, I butchered it. Uh, it had a $10 move, I butchered it. I butchered it. Uh, see, uh, yeah, I made some money on it, but I, I, I butchered it. It was so damn thin at one point. It was trading at a $2 spread. I was like, you know what? Let me just take some money off this thing. I, it was just way too thin. It was the same thing as NVIDIA. Uh, I missed NVIDIA, so I went into, 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 into Netflix, and I was like, wow, I'm in this thing. It's scaring me to death. It's just any drop of the futures, this thing is dead. So I sold it, took some money off of it, uh, watched it go down a dollar, and then it, t it just spread out just like NVIDIA. So it was a little frustrating watching it go up like 10, but it is what it is there. Uh, Roku never got up to the 75. Uh, again, take on the way up. Uh, this never obviously got there. Uh, Amazon take on the way up. And again, I kept on saying, look, take flow, right? Take flow. You know, keep on taking flow in this market. It's rinse, repeat. Again, you don't need the highest print of the day. Uh, keep on taking profits. Uh, again, I said GIS. This is a huge spot. Again, only risk 30 cents there. Uh, Kroger taking out the high of the day. Uh, I missed this trade. Okay, I missed this trade. I was at lunch. Uh, 380. Big area if it builds below can flush. Experienced traders only. New traders stay away. 
Uh, again, second entry, right? Second entry. Um, so second entry, you see right here, 379, 378 is now the second entry. And Tesla got destroyed. I mean, Tesla got absolutely destroyed. So here was the 378 second entry, and it went all the way down to 350. So uh, again, you had value. You had value. Um, I didn't love, um, I definitely, definitely didn't love, um, I definitely didn't love what I saw today as far as spreads and liquidity. But again, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? You're going to have less active market participants certain days just because you're going to be in a room full of people who are uneducated and who are panicking and never seen something like this before. So you're going to have days that you're going to have big moves, but you can't get filled. You get big moves, there's not enough liquidity. You're going to have big moves, but you can't take it. This is a $2 spread. Yada, yada, yada. Again, let your worst day in the world be a day that you make some money. Uh, tomorrow, again, business as usual. Uh, again, some people are getting excited and say, well, look, we rallied 1,000 off the lows. Okay, right? We'll see what happens tomorrow. If we gap up, right? If we gap up tomorrow, uh, we'll be watching for the initial move to the downside. If we gap down tomorrow, again, business as usual, we'll be looking for channels to the upside. Guys, God bless. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. Stay at home. Stay at home. Stay at home. Wash your hands. God bless. I'll see you all on the field tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.